Tesla has been criticized over the years for testing its autopilot and self-driving technology on public roadways with paying customers. However, many processes must be completed before any Tesla software reaches consumers. Tesla employees undertake internal testing in a simulation and then on closed courses and public roads. In this video, we will showcase Tesla's simulation in testing its autopilot and full self-driving systems. If you don't want to miss any of these incredible details, keep watching the video. Number 1. Tesla's Full Self-Driving Feature In their AI Day video presentation, they discuss the most recent breakthroughs in AI and how they are being utilized to progress the field of autonomous vehicles. Despite its extensive documentation, we will take a fresh look at the occurrence. Why? Every time, a question similar to, okay, but when will I see or use this in the actual world, is posed. Absolutely, that is a fantastic inquiry. As you will see in this presentation, I am astounded at the rapidity at which these research findings get commercialized as goods. The manifestation of this effect can be observed by examining their system. One of their earliest objectives was to create this vector space perspective and to do so, they developed vehicles with numerous cameras but without depth data and only the pixels from these sensors. This scene resembles a map or a computer game's depiction of the nearby streets and landmarks. Number 2 the Neutral Network Backbone The raw sensor data from the onboard cameras is processed and analyzed by a separate layer. Here, the raw pixels serve as input and the higher level information may be used to deduce whether a cluster of pixels indicates an automobile or a traffic signal serves as the output. This information can then be used in subsequent layers to do specialized tasks like determining where lanes and curves are located. What kinds of paper are utilized for this purpose then. We find transformer neural networks, BIFPNS, and RegNet among the architecture diagrams. For instance, the neural network variant known as RegNet is particularly well suited to deducing temporal and spatial relationships in unprocessed sensor data. Number 3. Underlying Problem – The Camera Fuse Look Now we've indicated that having numerous cameras is problematic, why is this so? Shouldn't that be a positive thing? Each camera captures a limited view of the truck. How? Then do we know precisely where and how long it is? We must possess all of this information to place the truck in the vector space perspective. We require a method capable of intelligently combining data from multiple cameras. Note that this is quite challenging because each camera has a unique calibration, location, view direction, and other attributes. Who can determine which point relates to which position in a distant camera view? And this is achieved by using a transformer neural network. Number 4. Detection single and multi-cam. So, does this strategy of using multiple cameras work? Will this help? Yes. The yellow forecasts here are from when the network only had one camera, and as you can see, things changed. What's going on? Since a passing car moves out of the view of one camera and into the ID of the next, they don't have this matching system that would let them know precisely where it is. And look! The blue objects show what the network of cameras can do that thinks will happen. Even though the prediction isn't perfect, it is a lot better than what the single camera network could do. Number 5. Improved Robustness to Temporary Occlusion With only still pictures, how can we tell if this car is stationary? Will it be able to locate a parking spot quickly or is it excessively fast? This car is currently hidden from view but we caught sight of it not long ago. We know exactly what's up to. Wow, that's a great idea! How much more could we do if our self-driving car was aware of the passage of time? We can make predictions just like humans. Using a map, one can foresee what will happen at a junction or a roundabout, for example, and make plans accordingly. Perhaps even more importantly, we can anticipate how vehicles will behave. Number 6. 
improved depth and velocity. Let's see how that works in practice, shall we? Green lines represent the distance and speed of the car following closely behind. This green lines material may be relied upon and is always brought up to date. Do you have any thoughts about the grass? No? The new video network was correct in its forecast that it is difficult to distinguish since there is a blue line in the image. This indicates that its calculations of speeds and distances are exceptionally reliable. In addition, the orange demonstrates how inaccurate the older network is based on individual pictures. Number 7 ability to align and reconstruct. Now, whenever a car drives somewhere, it has the ability to generate a rough map of its surroundings. Those readings can then be combined with the data from other cars to make a more accurate and detailed map. These vehicles have a profound comprehension of the settings in which they operate, which makes navigation a lot less complicated. Consider these distinct labels that have been around for a long time. The flashing is so slight that it is almost unnoticeable. Even though it's not perfect, the progress in such a short time is astounding. Number 8. Persisting Vehicles and Pedestrians Through Occlusion Predicting the behavior of other vehicles and pedestrians can now also result in improved decision-making. However, we are still working on it, not even close. Look, the unfortunate reality of driving is that unexpected events occur. For example, this vehicle makes it extremely difficult to see and the self-driving system lacks sufficient training data to account for this. So, what are some potential solutions? There are two alternatives. One is achieving further training data. Number 9 ask the fleet for similar clips. A single Tesla vehicle can report an unplanned event and request that the entire Tesla fleet reports comparable incidents. Because there are so many of these vehicles on the road, tens of thousands of identical samples can be retrieved and added to the training data to improve the entire fleet. That is remarkable. When one vehicle experiences a problematic situation, the other can learn from it. How incredible is that? Therefore, what is the second solution? Instead of retrieving extra training data, additional training data are generated. This photorealistic simulation teaches autonomous vehicles how to handle challenging situations more effectively. Number 10. Autopilot Simulation in a simulation, anything can happen, and OpenAI's robot hand is an example. This simulates rotation techniques so well that it can be uploaded to a robot hand and used in real life. Self-driving cars use the same logic, admiring. Using simulations, we can teach these cars to handle risky or challenging situations. This technology lets the vehicle safely learn what to do if it sees people and dogs running on the road. A skilled artist can create thousands of miles of virtual locations daily. This procedural simulation technique is a data bank. If the self-driving system makes an error, a Tesla employee may create an infinite number of similar circumstances to train it. And that completes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed learning Tesla's simulation and testing its autopilot and full self-driving systems. Which of them are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content such as this.